slowing down. Go. Thank you, ladies, for the great sex. It's so reasonably priced. Yeah, right. I don't think so. Faggot! No, it's me. It's me. I'm, I'm off. Don't blame yourself. I hate I'm... when you do Thank that. Thank you, ladies, for the great sex. It's so I... no. You have enough mystical. It's your... You don't have enough mystical. I think it's your fault, I don't even... You're don't scaring me all the trip. The big day. The delivery you've been waiting for has finally arrived. It's the magic of catalog living in the 50s. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Buddy Cole. Don't you look swell? Bring it right in, boys. Easy, easy. There. Uh-oh, there's a COD charge. Not much, though, just seven cents. You'll just have to work an extra hour at the salon tomorrow. Bye, fellas. You've done a good job. Chalk up another one for the working man. Meet your new male slave. You'll need to brand him. Ouch. That's smart. Then he'll need a few days to acclimatize himself to his surroundings. After all, he's just been separated from an international cartel of white slavers, so he'll miss the other slaves back at the harem. So be firm. But remember, your slave needs lots of love and attention these first few weeks. Oh, it looks like someone thinks that life can go on just the way that it was before. That's when trouble happens. Uh-oh. He won't do that again. The next thing you'll want to do is train your slave. Every slave needs to know where to do his duty. Of course, there can be accidents. That's where discipline comes in. A well-balanced diet is essential to a slave's well-being. But take care not to overfeed your slave. Or else this might happen. In order to keep your slave's muscles firm and functioning, and to keep his coat glossy, make sure you give him at least two walks a day. You can even use this time as an excuse to get out and enjoy some fresh air. There's Mrs. Kessler with her new baby. Say hello, Mr. Cole. These two obviously have a lot to catch up on. Let's leave them for a moment and talk about something a little more serious now. Here's Dr. Robert Inglis to tell us more. People who own slaves 
have been proven to live longer, have lower cholesterol, and an overall sense of well-being. Research has shown that seniors can add years to their lives with a loyal slave. Well, goodbye, doctor. Let's see what's happening with our friends back on Elm Street. Oh, Mr. Cole, you've been so busy gossiping that you didn't even notice your slave slipping away. Bad 1950s homosexual stereotype. <laughs> Luckily for you, slaves have a built-in homing instinct. Maybe if you spent more time playing with your slave and less time playing with yourself, he wouldn't feel compelled to act out in such an antisocial manner. An unhappy slave is a potential killer. So, take the time each day to play with your slave. Remember, a slave treated with love and respect can live up to 73 years. What? I was told they only live for six months, you know, like sea monkeys. Well, this one's going right back to the store. Oh, you know? no, these are good margaritas here. Well, the, hey, the Ken, Sandra. Oh, hi, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. fine. How you doing? God, it's weird running into you like this, because, you know, just the other day, you were the topic of a little discussion. Really? Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, not you or you guys as a couple, just Ken. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You know, this is hard to put in delicate terms, but I met this guy. Uh -huh. There's this guy that doesn't like you. Oh, re really? I know, man. It's crazy, eh? I mean, you're the nicest guy going. I mean, everyone likes Ken. That's why it was so freaky to me. I mean, I didn't know what to say. I wish I'd known what to say. Well, I mean, that's okay. I mean, it, it doesn't bother me that there's, you know, one guy out there that doesn't like me. Oh, yeah. Besides, I'm sure there's more than just one guy. <laughs> that's pretty quick, huh? <laughs> Come on, honey. You know what I mean. Yeah. I no, I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine more than one guy not liking Ken. I mean, finding out there was even one nearly made my head explode. You know, I mean, I've tried to figure it out. I've tried and I've tried, but, you know, nothing's coming. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, uh, I, I, I didn't even get any sleep last night, you know? Brian, I mean, what, what were some of the things this, this guy was saying, you know? Oh, man, he was saying stuff like, you know, untrusting, untrustworthy, smug, a certain smugness, you know? Yeah. I, mean, I can't really remember. I mean, I was in a, you know, a daze, a fog of disbelief, if you can... I think you're making too much of this, Brian. No, I don't think I am. This is a domino, Sandra. There are certain things in your life that are dependent upon other things, and when one of those things goes down, the others are set in motion, okay? Brian, Brian, maybe you should settle down. Settle down? I'm yeah. sorry, what do you mean, settle down? It's not yeah. that easy. You uh, can't just say that. You're uh, causing a bit of a scene, Brian. Yeah, are you okay? All right, it's me. Huh? I'm the guy. I'm the one guy who doesn't like you. I'm the only guy I know who doesn't like you. Can't you understand what I'm going through? I mean, I've tried to like you, but I don't. <laughs> you I like, but you, no way. Hey, you know, that's, that's okay, you know, Brian. I mean, uh, you don't have to like me, you know. You're, you're still all right with me. Yeah. You're so sucky. <laughs> Can you believe that? Can... <laughs> what? I've never seen that look on your face. There's a sort of a smugness to it. Hon, don't, don't do this. Don't. Well, maybe I just never noticed it before. I hate rap music. Every woman in it is a hoe. I know, and yet none of them are really hoes, you know? Yeah. I mean, if every chick's a hoe, then what are we? It's the value the word, eh? Yeah. Uh, you know, once I was dating a rapper, but I had to leave him because he kept calling me a hoe. But you are a hoe. Yes, but she didn't know that, did he? You're right. <laughs> Excuse me, would you like to try a new kind of meat? It's light and tasty and called Parif. <laughs> Late for your losers meeting, are you? It's showtime. Check. 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 Hi. Oh, good. Free.
three samples. <laughs> but first of all, let me ask you all a question. How many of you good folks are sick to death of being taxed by the government? Oh. Oh. And how many of you people uh, think about Richard Nixon when you're having sex? <laughs> I guess that's just me. <laughs> but how many of you people here eat food? Oh, yeah. I'd like a free sample. Okay, soon. Today, it is my honor and my job to unveil Porif. What? Wow. <laughs> it's a new kind of meat. It's got the bite of beef with the smoky texture of pork. <laughs> Henceforth, porif. Is it time for a free sample yet? <laughs> yes, but before I offer you a free sample, I should ask, are there any federal agents here today at all? <laughs> okay, well then I'll just go for it, <laughs> all right? Now, please understand that special care was taken in developing this unique hybrid. Once upon a time, we took a cow and a pig that were only mildly drugged, <laughs> we put them together in a cage and forced them to do what eventually became natural. Excuse me, aren't you playing God? Ma'am, I'd like to think of it more as playing Cupid. <laughs> now, who'd like to try a free sample? Oh. The proof is in the porif. I would, I would. I believe I heard you, sir. What? Well, you know, normally, ma'am, Meat is not my scene, you dig, but this smells so groovy, I'd like to try some. Are you saying, stranger, that you're a vegetarian? Right on, stranger. Let me ask you, are you a happy vegetarian? Hmm, good question, man. Do you mind if I tell you a story? Would you, please, huh? You know, folks, many years ago, I used to dig meat, mm -hmm. but I found that no one meat satisfied me. Kind of like women. <laughs> You know, and it got so that I was combining my meats, you know, steak with bologna, uh, pastrami with everyday ordinary chicken. But still, no one meat turned me on. So you're saying no one meat is what you were looking for? Far out, man. You read my mind. <laughs> well, then maybe Parif is the meat for you. I don't know. I'm skeptical. How can I be sure? Huh. How about a taste test? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. A taste test? <laughs> Sounds groovy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now honestly, what's the better tasting meat? Porif or this dark cola? Hmm. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Hmm. Whoa, what a taste sensation. <laughs> Blows my mind. All right. <laughs> I definitely have to say the Porif is the better tasting meat. <laughs> It's like comparing apples and oranges. Yeah. Ma'am, do I come to your job and jump up and down on the end of the bed? I don't get it. Yeah, not since Expo 67. <laughs> uh, I believe what my stranger here is trying to say is, you should buy Parif and eat it. Yeah, would anyone like to buy an advance order of Parif? Word on the street is, it comes in easy to carry 20 pound boxes. That's right. Well, I'd like a free sample. No, 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 no free sample, ma'am. I just want no, one. That's not what I like to do. that until I know. It tastes like cat food. Um, uh, well, uh, plan B. Uh, did I mention it was dirt cheap? Oh. Yeah, folks, I was just in the gardening department, and Parif is actually cheaper than dirt. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right on cue, yeah. like drunken pigs to the truck. Please, can we talk about something other than work? Like what? Did you like the ratatouille? Was it yummy? Yeah, you know, I really like the ratatouille, which is odd because I've never liked ratatouille before, you know? I don't like the sound of it. I don't like the ingredients. <laughs> Eggplant. <laughs> yeah, you know, but for some reason tonight, I really enjoyed it. <gasps> Sounds like you've got a little crush. Oh, oh well, uh, maybe. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm a modern woman. Oh, <laughs> that's good to know because, uh, well, there's something about me that I think you should know. Something personal. You're married. No. You're gay? No. You're bi. I dated someone bi once. She was very nice. No. No, it's not that. You're HIV. It could happen to anyone. No, not that. <gasps> you don't have a ferret, do you? God, no! Jeez. Then what is it? 
Okay, um, this is difficult. I... Okay, I've had my penis tattooed. Uh-huh. Yeah, I had sort of a zigzag done around the head. Sort of like Jughead's hat. Uh, I see. And why? Well, I was claiming authority over my own body. You see, in the 90s, the body is the ultimate battleground. Body modification is the ultimate transgressive act against the stifling conformity of the body politic. Wow. <laughs> that and I've always loved Archie comics. Oh, me too. Does it still, you know, work? Well, I mean, as well as it ever did, which was never too good. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not the world's greatest coxman. <laughs> really? I find sexual inadequacy so sexy. Really? Wow, you are a modern woman. Modern and realistic. So you don't mind? No, not at all. Actually, now that you mention it, I've had my nose done. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's my sister's. Oh. It's a beautiful nose. Yeah, I'd always admired her nose, so we traded. Oh. I'll bet that comes with an interesting story. Not really. I'd always admired her nose, so we traded. Oh. <laughs> so, um, is there anything else that I should know before we uh, proceed? <laughs> well, I do have the Watergate transcripts tattooed on my back. Oh, that's fantastic. I love to read in bed. <laughs> I'm told by people who know these things that you are a man who can handle a delicate situation. A man who can eliminate certain irritants. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. Understood. I don't know what I'm talking about either. Huh? <laughs> no. No, really. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a clue. I want you to kill a man. Ah. Uh -huh. That I do. I kill people for money. Well, there's a situation that I'd like you to handle. In addition to killing a guy? Pardon me? The situation you want me to handle, this is in addition to killing a guy. No, the situation is that I want you to kill a guy. That I do. Well, shh. Did you hear that? No. There it is again. I don't hear anything. Did you hear it that time? Uh, I think you're hearing my voice. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, who is this guy that you want me to kill for money? If you know what I mean. Here's a picture of the guy. I think you know him. You crazy? This is a picture of me. Well, if you don't think you can handle it... Well, I can handle it. But I'm gonna need a lot of money. And I'm gonna need it up front. Do we have a deal? This man's as good as dead. No, not now. Wait until I've left. I don't want to be anywhere near here when you do it. How come? How come? Because I want to have an alibi so that the police can't link me to the murder. That's the whole point in hiring someone like you. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, give me plenty of time Get out of the area, okay? Sure. All right. I'm leaving now. Okay?
This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I was long gone! Can you follow the simplest of instructions? Someone call the police! A man beat me to death! Wake up. Hey, uh, come on. He's dead already. You've killed him. So leave him alone. But officer, you don't understand. I understand you're going to prison for a long time, you sick bastard. Hey! Language. Oh, you're right. Come on. We were supposed to wait. We were supposed to wait. You were supposed to. Wait! No way! No 